I'm Alex Menendez, and I am a partner here at Monkey Brains, a company that Rudy started and that uh, I joined in after we worked together at Macromedia. I started Monkey Brains in 1998 out of a, off a DSL line in a warehouse, building computers and reselling DSL. We basically were starting, I guess it was, a co-location business at the height of the dot-com, and no one, <laughs> no one cared about uh, the company named Monkey Brains that was starting a small boutique colo. <laughs> Everyone was kind of laughed at us too at Macromedia. They were like, you're starting an ISP? Because everyone thought about all these huge San Jose ISPs that were like a zillion bucks facilities and what have you. So that, that was like at that time. And we got a couple, we got a couple customers that we like probably screwed really good because the prices were super, super high. Our philosophy has always been um, make sure they have a big enough customer base to break even and then we can do other cool projects on our own and not have to worry about any bills. We can have as much bandwidth for ourselves as we want. Really what we are is a, a local business is a, a business that focuses on other local businesses. People that want to put a computer on the internet. So someone like, you know, someone wants like, this is actually a customer's computer, right? They brought this to us. It's broken now. <laughs> and, uh, and they were like, we want to put this on the internet. So we're like, you know, okay, we either build these for people or we take it and then we put it in a rack that looks like that in the data center. Say you, you host, a, you have a domain name, everyone knows what that is, and you want to put that domain name somewhere. You can either put it on someone else's hard disk that's on a server sitting on the internet or you can get your own um, server and put it on the internet. And basically, you, you can post your own domain name off a DSL line at home, but if you get popular or you want to make sure it all, it's always up and it never goes down, then you need to put it in a data center. And you just it's basically just a, a PC computer with a couple of hard disks, and you stick it in a building that has a redundant power, the security to get in. We have to like scan things. We gauge people, like you know, if, they're, if it's an artist or a nonprofit, we tend to like you know let them let things go. If it's a you know if it's a company that's making money, we we keep track of our hours. <laughs> <laughs> we keep and, track of our hours. And we don't really bill people that aren't making any money. Someone will call us and it'll be a, a small business starting out and they're like, we want, you know, and they're throwing out all these things that they want and like in my, in our brains we're like, you know, ching, ching, like it keeps on going, like the price that we're like, you know, you don't need to do that. Like the, the best service we offer I think is like when someone comes in wanting to spend a bunch of money to get their business idea off the ground, Rudy and I spend the whole time almost arguing with them to like, don't spend so much money, start with one server, yeah. wait a year and right. see how you're doing. Right. <laughs> Right. And I think that's different because I think a lot of other people that do what we do or businesses that do what we do, they're like, yeah, sure, you know. It's... Eat all these bills. And all but for stuff. us, you know, we want to develop like a relationship with a local business that lasts hopefully as long as possible. We, we want to we wanna get the money from them for five years, not for one year and then see them fail. I don't know. I mean, I think we get some cred because we are uh, completely funded by each other. Like we've, we've never taken on the, uh, any investment from a third party in any way. And we've maintained kind of our integrity that way. It's, a, it's about enjoying life. A yeah, lot of about it. It, yeah. And, uh, um, and liking what you do and not having it be a bummer to come work. And um, we could both be making probably four times what we make here if we work for other companies. When I left Macromedia and started Monkey Brains, uh, you know, I lived off my savings from that job for the first year or two. Like, they're, it was stupid, you know. They're paying so much in those dot-com bubble years that yeah. I'd afforded away some money because I didn't want to. I didn't want to be working for a large company forever. I mean, you know, I may go back one day, but I, I really, I really like being independent. I have, I have problems with authority. We didn't mention we still do dial-up, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is a completely dying business. But the reason I bring it up is because our dial-up customers, which we still have, some have been dialing up for. For a while, but for nine the, years, but the new dial-up uh, <laughs> bubble, let's call it, is uh, this uh, nonprofit in in Alameda called a ACCRC, and they put people on the internet for the first time, um, and with all Linux computers. So it's salvaged computer parts, and then they do not believe in Microsoft, so they put in all uh, Linux parts. These are people that. I've never seen a computer or immensely disabled. Most of them are crazy. They have SSI. Yeah, we have. They have a lot of <laughs> a lot of crazy people. But that's it's. Oh, we don't mind. There's one lady in particular who is, I think, on methadone or something. 
but she uh, she started off being a pretty good customer, and then or being you know, really really excited to be on the internet, and then she just <laughs> her medication changed. <laughs> but uh, there's been a couple people that we've successfully got on, and we've been made house visits to, and are still on, and it's like. When they call up, it's always kind of interesting because I'm like, man, this person's never been on the internet and they're about to like learn a Linux computer uh, for and the first it's, time. And it takes us like, an, we'll talk to them on the phone for an hour, and yeah. uh, we're lucky if they pay. We, you know, we have a really low rate for them, ten bucks a month, and we're lucky if they pay. If they don't pay, we don't cut them off. But yeah, some of them are very adamant about paying. I think the people that actually <laughs> end up getting on from this the ACCRC program uh, are, great. Are, are probably like our best customers. I would have, rather have a hundred ten dollar customers, even though it's a lot of work to do all the cashing of the checks, than one thousand dollar customer. Yeah. Right? And I don't know, just stability business wise. We've definitely carved out somewhat of a sustainable business. Yeah. And then and some of the I think that the it, we don't have to work in cubicles, which is terrific. We don't have to work in cubicles. I think maybe the. Uh, the emphasis on maturing or on doing something that's sustainable on the internet is more of an issue now, whereas before it like didn't matter, right? Like you could sell, what do you want? Dog food, trolls, little troll dolls? I have a theory. The internet's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> and there's some people making money at the top, and then there's people uh, at the bottom uh, giving money up the, the, the pyramid, and we're, we're somewhere in the middle. We collect from people and we give away the majority of it to the people above us in the pyramid. And we're always trying to figure out ways to skip around in the pyramid. If you want to do any uh, any type of work anywhere I, or start your own company, I recommend you sort of get your uh, mind wrapped around the pyramid scheme going on and figure out how to do more things by yourself, for yourself, and then your expenses will go way down. Don't tell everyone though or we'll be out of a job. <laughs> uh, so we're going to hear uh, voice messages that have been left at Monkey Brains over the years. Uh, my father pays the bills. You have never sent us a bill. Never, not once, okay? If that is why you have, uh, uh, <laughs> you should have said, you know, you should have, you know, I didn't know because my dad pays the bills. Um, finally, I, I found out, you know, that he's never gotten a bill from you, but that's why you haven't been returning my calls, isn't it? Or, okay, oh boy, I, I'm just so mad right now. Why you didn't, oh boy. You, you are the one who never sent us a fucking bill, man. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Not exactly a satisfying customer. <laughs> Just want to have a little conversation with you. Okay, well, this is the monkey rock, and I'll... The unicorn monkey rock. And I'll be getting back to you. Bye-bye. No idea what that is. The He's unicorn never, I don't even know what that guy wanted. He's on the garage. Yeah. He wanted to have a conversation. <laughs> there was a monkey connection in there, but the unicorn threw me off. <laughs>